Hi Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin, this is your general reading. We're taking a look at the week of October 19th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these readings, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings located below this video. Also, Aquarius, I go live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. You are all invited to uh, join me there. We do have a good time. Okay, Aquarius, for this week, it is a week about getting what you want. Okay? There are some major changes for, swirling around you and everything you want is within reach. It's going to be a quick moving week. Honestly, Aquarius, it's going to be a quick moving month from this point on. You are under retro that time frame of the unexpected from now through November 3rd. Um, good news arise when you least expect it, okay? Um, I can say this. You're going to have to dig for your patience. And honestly, there is a warning of your temper, okay? Someone is going to say or do something that is really just going to spark your temper. And for whatever reason, you guys are like ready for winter and ready to hibernate. And we cannot have that. So let's take a look. We're looking at Aquarius. And this is your week of October 19th, 2020. Okay, Aquarius. What I've got going on, showing that Ace of Swords, of course you guys are under a new beginning. And I think we've spoke about that your next new beginning is going to occur in spring. And there's something going on that you're planning for the winter. Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. This is something coming from the past. Perhaps an investment, perhaps a settlement coming in, but definitely something from the past. Okay, With that Aquarius, we have the Five of Wands. You haven't been through all of your obstacles yet. There are still some obstacles ahead, but you're going to skate through them. It's going to be very brief and very passing. Next to that, look at there, Aquarius. You guys got the Hermit. It says to dig into your intuition. Dig into that patience, like I said at the beginning of the video. This indicates to me that you guys are on the right path. Meaning, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Cups. Now, this is going to be significant for my single Aquarius out there. This is something new coming into play. A new offer. Someone you do not know, not anyone from the past. Um, and for my couples, it's not really significant in anything to do with the love life. This is more or less showing that you've got an unexpected offer of assistance coming in. And it could be from a complete and total stranger. With that, I've got the Six of Wands, which is total victory, king of the mountain, okay? Total victory, total success. You get everything you want. I think I said in the beginning of the video that everything you want is within reach. This definitely confirms that. Also showing that you'll be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. And we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands shows that there's been a lesson that you learned in the past. Okay, that lesson you learned in the past is something you're going to use and apply to your everyday life here in the next two weeks. Aquarius, Three of Cups, unexpected celebration. There's an outing. There's an event. I think it involves music. Go. Go. Absolutely go. And then we have the Eight of Coins. Now, this goes back to that money in addition to. This is money, like I said, now we saw the money from the past, but this is something in addition to your regular pay, okay? So there's something extra there. This could be the sale of an item. This could be a settlement. This could be small winnings or something, but there's definitely money in addition to there. Now... Signs that may resonate with you or you guys, and though we didn't see the tower, I still pick up on your temper. There's someone there that is going to make you mad. Um, signs that may or may not resonate with you guys. A Leo. Honestly, that's the only sign I'm picking up for you guys. I'm surprised. It's almost like you become a recluse. You're not putting yourself out there even though there's an event coming up. So, Aquarius, let's jump into 
Halloween tarot. Where, where else? How far can we go for the week of October 19th for you guys? We have the moon. This may be where your temper comes into play. This is some kind of deception around you. This is something that you're going to separate yourself from very quickly. Next to that, I have the king of ghosts. Now, look, there we have another. This is a cancer type energy. Someone grounded, someone centered, someone that has been there and done that, who has been through the troubled waters and on solid ground, but someone who is going to give you some sound advice. And then we have the Ace of Bats, which is your Ace of Swords, okay? Also, what you started your reading with, showing you guys are under a new beginning. Let's give you guys one more. The Five of Ghosts. Five of Cups, same thing, guys. Don't overthink things. If you do, you'll pull yourself down. Aquarius, you're not as bad off as you feel that you are. I promise you. Dig for your patience, move forward. Everything will go your way because everything is within your reach. Thank you guys for watching. Join me Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And I will see you then. Bye.